Greetings and welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Uh, previously, I went over uh, Duncan here, and he's part of the Turtles of Grayskull line. Uh, comic book, finally read it. I'm going to do a full reading later with voices and stuff, so that'll be fun. Uh, so keep an earball out for that. Uh, next up on the list of fun dudes is going to be He-Man himself. So, um, and I'm doing this kind of in the order of most to least excited, or least to most excited. So I'm not really excited for Man-at-Arms. He's pretty much Man-at-Arms with turtle shells on him. Um, I feel like they could have pushed that up a little bit higher and made him even a little more, um, more into it. Uh, I do think one thing, I do recognize this helmet on him from, um, I believe it was, I can't remember what the big guy's name is. Me not Metallo. Chrome Dome? Might have been Chrome Dome, yeah. So that's interesting. And I'm noticing a couple other things from this line that might also play into that. So we'll see. They posted, like, a huge thing of it. And we have two waves coming right in the beginning of, of uh, 2024. And then uh, a bunch of other figures that are all coming as well. So <clears throat> who knows how we're going to go about this. So uh, there's Skeletor and... Shredator. Here's He Man himself. There's the uh, slime pit with with uh, Shredder in the story. Um, Skeletor and Shredder and Krang and all that they uh, they mutate He Man and make him evil. So this is like a different kind of mutagen where it not only um, not only mutates them but it turns them into kind of. Slaves. Um, so you can you can do all what you need on that. Uh, this makes me happy for two reasons, actually, because um, Mattel is working with Playmates Toys. Alexa, turn off fan. Um, and they are. Uh, that's rare. I mean, this is a Mattel product. Empowering the next generation. Yada yada yada. Here's the barcode if you're interested. Um, but right on here, it's Masters Universe Nickelodeon. Playmates isn't listed at all on here. So that's weird. Um, but it does make me happy that we are getting this kind of a weird mashup. And hopefully um, this this keeps both of these alive. Uh, you're not seeing this like with Power Rangers or anything Hasbro owns, Transformers. Um, they're barely doing mashups with their own properties, which is honestly stupid. They should probably do that. Um, I would take a Super Sentai team, uh, Power Rangers of, of like, Gem, or, or um, I don't know, Transformers. Like, just give me, give me a Spike, sp Spike Witwicky that turns into, I don't know, Bumblebee or something, the Bumblebee Ranger, J something. Let's try. Uh, shows you the rest of the guys here. And uh, let's get him open. So uh, one of the reasons why I was not too excited about this guy was because he, um, I mean, it's kind of just like a big He-Man. But what I'm thinking is going to happen is, is wave one, we're going to get this muta mutated versions of each character uh, like this. And then wave twos, well, I guess wave like five through whatever's are going to probably do the flip-flop. So we might get a mutated Man-at-Arms um, eventually. It's kind of a crapshoot at this point. What you're going to get. Some of them are, are store exclusives, which is savagely annoying. Hashtag stop store exclusives. Uh, here we've got He-Man in all of his beauty. He is a kind of a, I'll say, a, not translucent, but... He's also not opaque. He's like a like a kind of a creamy clear. Um, if you want a good shot, here's the here's my ring light, so you can see through him. Arms not as well. well that's pretty good. Hey, look at that. <laughs> so it is it is possible to see through him, but the uh, the chest part's real see through. Legs and everything else are are kind of whatever uh what i'm most excited about is the fact that these guys are f freaking huge like 
let's get this uh, back to normal. <clears throat> so here's the standard buck for, for He-Man. Um, I don't even remember what version this one was. I've got a couple of them. Still mad I can't find my man at arms because that would have been the you know the perfect part. Two of these characters are man at arms uh, essentially, and I can't find my man at arms. Uh, the the comic book does look to be by the way the same exact comic, so I'll have a couple different copies of that, and then this shows us what can swap out. Yay! Um. So if you look at him. He's pretty much the same height as regular, but these arms are freaking swole. So that's nice. Um, would have liked to have seen maybe a little taller um, as well, but he is just He-Man. Um, there, the head's a little bit bigger. You can swap stuff out, so that is is part of the play pattern. One of the better things I do like is that you can pop this off and, you know, get rid of this so this is a separate piece um his legs his feet do pop out uh not really gonna bother doing that right now until i figure something out but this is what excites me so you see this foot that foot pretty much means we're getting a rat king um because rat king does the same thing from the old playmates line so i really think that we're gonna get a rat king using these these feet minimally um I don't know what exactly they're going to do. My hope is that Rat King has a giant rat that he can ride on. Because that would be amazing. Get, like, literally just take one of the... the um, oh, I can't remember what they're... The, like a battle cat. Ugh, that came off. And then this comes off. I give him like just a big battle rat. <laughs> we can only hope that that's what we end up getting. Uh, on the back, it has the fold-over side, so they've been going with this kind of fold-over um, design instead of the classic, uh, like this one that, that is, does it too. But the older ones, you had to like snap closed and they didn't really work that well, so that is exciting. But I'm glad that these come off and are not part of the sculpt because I do plan on purchasing multiple of these and doing some customs. Uh, the bigger hands are also nice because these hands are considerably larger than the rest. Um, but if you wanted to, you pop these arms off. I don't know if these arms are... There is. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have my... Uh... Andre over here as I try to open this from the wrong side. So I don't have any of the the um, the new ones, but I feel like this is probably just the same as Andre's. Yep. Same sculpt. So Andre here shows you that you can have a bigger guy. I think this might have been like the precursor to the new form of that. There is an Andre coming out, so I might buy that. Or I might just buy some of the, um, look at the cartoon man-at-arms. But this is nice, and having these spikes is also very cool. And it's also nice that the mutated He-Man is also um, Skeletor colored, which is kind of cool. Kind of gives him that, that vibe. He does not have a sword. He has the... So that's also the other thing I was wondering is since since he doesn't have the sword of power anymore, maybe someone else can call upon the power of Grayskull. Uh, I don't know who, who that would be, but um, I would assume Leonardo or someone like that. But here is... Uh, here he is. We got our super cool dude, He-Man. Um, he is a bad guy in this version, so do what you gotta. But it is definitely uh, well worth the look. I don't really know who I could swap him out with. Um, 
toy-wise, but I am gonna do this. I forgot, completely forgot this. I had this idea. So let's pop his, his ninja head off. I don't know why he's like that. Um, I would assume probably because this hair is gonna be used for Rat King. That's just my guess. Um, it really. But this is what I was kind of wanting to look at is I got this pig head and kind of give us a little look at what uh, probably Bebop is going to be looking like. So uh, I don't think they're going to use this pig head, head, but they are probably going to do something very similar to this with Bebop, and that's going to be awesome. They're probably going to use some of the WWE um, clothing because they got a lot of guys that have, like, pants and stuff. Bray Wyatt, I think, had pants. And if they don't come out with all of them, guess who's going to make them? This guy. Uh, I might I might get weird on some customs, but I'm going to give them some time to actually make these figures um, as need be. I do like the spikes here. That is new. Um, that actually makes me want to make some, some customs just from that. Uh, I will have... I'm going to at least purchase one of these um, extra He-Mans, if not more, uh, to do a very special custom that I hope you all tune in uh, and enjoy. Uh, so keep, uh, subscribe, of course, cause I'm going to do more of these, um, like, subscribe, comment, and, uh, let me know what you think. And see, look how much larger this, this guy is. So I'm hoping that Krang is just using this body cause then I could just reuse that. That'd make my life so much easier. Um, anyway, please like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.